pandemic has left them feeling isolated and alone, which has led them to adding a pet to their household for some companionship. But with a new pet comes new responsibilities, which is why consumer investigator Lauren Verno got some advice from Consumer Reports to help first time pet parents out there. When the pandemic hit, Lisa Ricker, who works at the ASPCA, saw something remarkable. The nice part of that sort of lull period when everything was closed is some of our hardest dogs who had been at the shelter for years got adopted. While the pandemic is keeping many families and friends apart, it's ironically united pets of all kinds to new homes. Now, if you're thinking about taking the plunge to welcome a new pet into your home, keep in mind, it's not all fun and games. They need exercise, they need enrichment, they need basic training so they can sort of be a good member of the household. And of course, pets don't come cheap. Plan on spending more money on food, vet visits, grooming, and more. For example, in just the first year, dog owners will spend on average $1,459, and cat owners will shell out $1,174. To help reduce expenses, look for ways to save. Online food subscriptions can save about 5%, and ask about loyalty programs at locally owned pet stores. When it comes to the vet, pet insurance might help, but know what it covers and what it doesn't before you enroll. When CR analyzed pet insurance coverage for cats and dogs, it found that the cost could be worth it if the pet gets a serious illness or injury. But just like insurance for people, pet insurance plans can be complicated and come with deductibles and copays and premiums. Finally, it's important to prepare yourself and your pet for a post-pandemic life. You're going to start to go back to work and your dog still wants your attention, but you know, you have to kind of think a little bit more about what your life will be like and not necessarily what your life is like during COVID. That could mean hiring a dog walker or paying for doggy daycare, which can be yet another added expense. You can help your new pet adjust to a new routine by gradually beginning to mimic what your pet schedule will look like on a typical work or school day, like spending a few hours at a time in a separate room. I'm Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.